Today I'm going to show you how I made my uh, Save Floyd uh, Scratch video game. As you can see, I have five different sprites. I have a background cons consisting of clouds. I had made some acid. Um, I actually grabbed one of the, the stock sprites from the, the library for Floyd. I made some custom ground and I also made a coin. So now we're going to talk about how we want our game to actually function. So I want Floyd to be able to run back and forth and then jump, obviously jump over the, the acid. So to start, we need to make a control. When the green flag is clicked, we want Floyd to, to go to a certain location. And about 220 for the x or negative 220 for the x coordinates and negative 120 for the y coordinates. That's what we want. And then we're gonna have him say or we'll have him think, have a think bubble show up. Say hmm, that looks like acid. For we'll do it one and a half seconds. Then from here, we're gonna create a forever loop. And then within that forever loop, we want to create an if statement. And we want to say that if the right arrow is pressed, we want to, and I actually made different costumes for my sprite. So one view to have him look, look like he's going to the right, one view mirrored to make him look like he goes to the left. So we're going to go to uh, we're going to have them switch costumes and we're going to choose the, the go right costume and then we want we want him to move 10 steps and that's just for pressing the right arrow. We want to do the same thing for the left arrow. So we'll do another if statement. And then if the left arrow key is pressed, we want him to switch costumes to the go left costume. And then we'll also have a move 10 steps. From here, we want to also say that if he touches the acid, we want the game to end. So if, if he's touching the acid, we want to play a sound. And I downloaded a few different sound effects. I have a crowd booing and then a crowd clapping. So we're going to have play a sound. It's going to play the boo sound, the crowd booing. And then we're going to have him say goodbye, cruel world. And we're going to leave it up for about two seconds, just so um, the player can th can so the player can read it. And then when that happens, we want to stop the script. We'll put that within our if statement. However, if he makes it across the 
the acid, we want him to play a different sound and say something different. So we'll make another if statement. And then we'll have, let's say, if he touches the coin, we want to play a sound. But this time we want to choose the crowd clapping, or applauding, as the file name suggests. And then we'll have him say, I made it. And then when that happens, we want to stop our script. However, we want to give him the, the ability to jump. And the easiest way that I found to do it was to say, to start a, another script, to say when the up arrow is clicked, we're going to have it repeat by a factor of 15. And then we're going to change the Y axis or Y input by 15. And then I'm going to duplicate this and say it's going to repeat by 15, but then he'll come back down by negative 15. And then we're going to say if he touches the acid, so make another if statement. Actually, let's, let's get rid of that. Duplicate that. So if you basically, if this happens again, it, the same things happen. So now if we click play, he can move back and forth. Okay, there's something wrong there. Uh, so. so he didn't go left when we told him to, so I need to make this a negative 10. So let's start that over. So now when you press the right arrow, he goes right and he looks right. Oops, got a little, a little too close to the acid. So going right, he looks right. Going left, he looks left. When you press up, he jumps and he comes back down. So if you time this right, you can jump over the acid. Let's try that again. You made it. And that's how I made Save Floyd.